Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will demonstrate to you how you can restrict and secure unauthorized access to your Drupal APIs using the Drupal REST and JSON API authentication modules. This module allows you to authenticate your API requests by verifying the identity of clients using various methods such as basic authentication, API key-based authentication, access token or OAuth-based authentication, JWD token-based authentication and external provider or third-party token-based authentication. In this video, we will demonstrate how to authenticate your Drupal APIs using the basic authentication method, which involves verifying a user's identity through a username and password. Before proceeding with the video, please ensure you have installed the Mini Orange REST API authentication module on your Drupal site. We already have the video and setup guide for the installation. You will find links for both in the description. Once you have installed the module, please go to the Extend tab of the Drupal site. Scroll down to the Web Services section. Ensure that you have installed the selected modules. The REST UI is a contributed module that provides you with a user interface for configuring REST resources. You can also do this by simply modifying the config. Let's take an example of creating an article using Postman. Click on the Configure button. Scroll down to the Content section, and click on the Enable button. Now, as our goal is to create the article, for that select the following configuration. And click on the Save Configuration button. Go to the Configuration tab. And select REST API Authentication Configuration. Under the API Authentication tab, select Basic Authentication Method and click on the Select Method button to save your changes. Let's try to make a server-to-server -server calls using Postman to see whether this method is working correctly or not. In your Postman, enter the URL for creating the article. Under the Body tab, enter the values to create an article. You can also find a sample format of these values in the description and click on the send button. If you notice as we have not provided the user credentials in the authorization header yet, so our module restrict this call. Now, select the basic auth type from the authorization tab. Enter the Drupal username and password. And click on the send button. You have successfully created an article by making an API request. Let's see if the article has been created on the Drupal site. Navigate to the Content tab of the Drupal site. As you can see article is successfully created here. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any concerns please reach out to us at DrupalSupportedSecurify.com.